Hey guys, welcome to Chapel. I'm here in my backyard today, and I wanted to share um, something with you that I feel like is pretty important. And that is that yesterday was a day we call Earth Day on April 22nd every year. Now Earth Day is a day that we come together and we think about what a beautiful planet we have and the best ways we can take care of it and, and celebrate this home that we all have on our planet. <laughs> Um, in Genesis, that's in the beginning of the Bible, here, God had just made Adam. And he, what he decided to do with Adam was, it says he took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to till it and keep it. That's two different things, till it and keep it. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. But I'll, for just a second, I want to take a look around at some of this pretty earth we have that we all live on. This is my backyard. And I'm gonna be very quiet for just about five seconds. And I want you to listen for things that you can hear. You hear birds. I hear the stream that we have down behind our back fence. I hear wind going through the trees. All sorts of beautiful things to look at and hear out here. Now, I would like to talk to you about what this Bible passage means, or what I think it means that God told man to till it and keep it. Now what that means is God wants us to be able to use this earth. He wants us to be able to plant, to plant things and grow food for ourselves, take care of the animals, do all of those things. He also tells us to keep it, which is another way of saying he wants us to take care of it or to protect it. So we don't want to till up the whole thing. Because we have to have part of it that we have to live on and, and take care of. But um, it's really funny since we've all been having to stay at home so much, the, the earth has actually gotten a lot healthier. There's been a lot less pollution. There's been um, lots more animals coming back into places that they haven't been in a long time. I've seen a lot of things on the computer, interesting things that are happening because during this our quarantine we're actually doing a really much better job of taking care of our planet like God wants us to and it, it's really important I think for us to pay attention to what God wants from us especially when it comes to something like taking care of the earth that we live on and um, we are a part of God's creation too we're one of the very important parts of it because we're the ones that are in charge right now of of keeping it healthy and tilling it in a way that helps us and helps all of our neighbors in the world. So Earth Day is something that celebrates all of that. And when we talk about it, I want you to remember this verse from Genesis that God put us on this earth and he put us here to till it and to keep it, to use it for things that keep us alive and keep us happy and keep us healthy and to use it for um, for things like that. And um, it is also our job to protect it and take care of it so that our world can keep giving us what we need. And um, so maybe when all of this quarantine stuff is over, maybe we can use this as a jumping off point to maybe not have so much pollution and do a better job of taking care of our earth. So, um, I love you all very much. I'm glad you stopped by for chapel, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.